Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be looking at how to crop images using C++. Alright, so if you haven't seen episode 1 of this series, make sure you watch that first because otherwise a lot of the stuff I do here isn't going to make much sense. Otherwise we can go ahead and start writing our code. So we're going to start by declaring our function in the header file. We're going to call it crop and it's going to take four parameters. We're going to give it an x and y position, which we're going to call crop x and crop y, and then a crop width and crop height. So now we can go ahead and put this into our C++ file and set this up. So basically what we want to do with crop is we, we want to create a new image. And so to do that, we need a place to store all of our new image data. So we're just going to create a new pointer called crop image and allocate some space in memory. We want to allocate cropped width times cropped height times the number of channels. That's how many bytes of memory we want here. And then we can go ahead and start looping through the size of the cropped image. To do that, we're going to create a nested for loop here, looping through our X and our Y. And then all we need to do here is just copy some memory into our cropped image. So we're copying from data into cropped image. And every time we do this, we want to copy channel number of bytes. So if it's a three channel image, we are copying three channels at a time. So to get the actual index into our array here, we're going to use our X and Y values from our nested for loop. And that's going to represent our position inside of the cropped image. Of course, multiply that by channels to get to the right byte in our array. Then similarly for data, we want to do the same thing. But of course, we're using the width, not the cropped width. And we also want to make sure we add our offsets, which is CX and CY. So we'll go ahead and add that in. Make sure we use parentheses for the Y value so that the whole thing gets multiplied by the width. And that is all we need to do in order to copy data into the new cropped image. What we want to also add here is a little check to make sure that we're not going out of bounds because otherwise we will get a seg fault. So to do that, we'll check if y plus cy is greater than or equal to h. Similarly, for the x, we will check if x plus cx is greater than or equal to width. Now what we want to do is readjust our width and height variables. Since we are resizing the image, we want to reset these to the proper values. Then what we want to do is delete our image data, our old image data and set that pointer to cropped image. And then after that, we will just set cropped image to null pointer to signify that it is an invalid pointer. So now we can go over to main.cpp and set up some test code here. We'll cut out that top left corner of the image. And if I open that image, you can see now just the top corner of our original image. Now what we can do is test our offset value. So let's move that cropped area a little bit over. And now you can see we have a different section of the image. So let's look at the other case now. We also want to see what happens if we try to crop the image to a size that is out of bounds of the original image. So let's just set this to a large number, run it again. And what you see is a lot of gibberish on the outside area, but we didn't get a seg fault, so that's good. Now one thing you can do to make this just black, which is kind of what you'd expect if you were to set your parameters this way, is you can just start off by setting all of the data in cropped image to zero. So we'll just memset everything to zero by passing cropped image zero and then the size of this array, which is CW times CH times channels. And we actually need to set the size to that anyway, so let's go ahead and move size up to the top here, and we will just use size for the rest of this. Let's not forget our semicolon here. And now you can see our cropped image has a black section over here where it goes out of bounds of the original image. So that was how to crop images using C++. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.